So this trading post speedrun route is coming way late in the month for July with only one day left, but better late than never. And good news, even though we're about 24 hours left before the August trading post comes out, you only need one hour to get the trading post fully done for July. My total run time this month was 51 minutes and 45 seconds, and that's to get 1400 points, not the normal 1000 that previous months had. So without further ado, let's get right into the route and what I completed to knock this trading post out quickly. Hey there, Rotan here. I make to the point videos about World of Warcraft, helping people obtain collectibles, cosmetics, and mounts that they want easily and quickly. If that sounds like a fun time, subscribe. Starting off in Orgrimmar, I flew right outside the gates and started 15 pet battles, and I one-shot them one after another 15 times. This task is a returning favorite, and having a level 25 pet makes this very easy, and as you can see by my primitive timer here on the screen that I tried to do, this task took about a total of 5 minutes to complete. That's 200 points down. Right off the back of this task is another old favorite, returning to this kind of speedrun route in Valdraken. We have two activities, one to complete five personal crafting orders and one to complete ten crafting orders in general. And we can knock both of those out by having a friend send you ten crafting orders and just complete them back to back. With the three tasks we've done so far, we're already at 500 points, which would mean if this was a normal 1000 point month, we'd already be halfway done with about seven and a half minutes on the clock. But as you'll see, since this is a 1400 point month, we're going to hit a wall in progress pretty shortly here. Our fourth task and third location is to take down the weekly World Dragon boss. When I completed this run, the Dragon of the Week was Strunran, which is located in the Onarn Plains. This activity has some variance to its completion time, like if you join a group with only 10% left on the boss when you get there, it's really quick and that's ideal. However, you may get into a group that needs to wait for the Dragon to spawn, and that can be like a 5-10 to 10 minute spawn timer. Luckily, in this run today, we got pretty lucky I was able to show up and just get this done quickly. The next item on our agenda was to complete a PvP world quest, so I flew back to Valdraken to turn on and enable War Mode, and then went to Azure Span. Now it was time to take down Nezeskar the Sightless. I don't have any PvP gear this season, so I decided to join a group, and I died a whole lot while trying to kill this dragon. But even if you get a tag on the dragon, you'll get credit for this even if you're dead when Nezeskar dies. That was good news for me. Now we're going to be going to Zerlek Cavern for a bit, as there's a handful of tasks to knock off down there. My first order of business in Zerlek Cavern was to create three Shadow Flame Crests using fragments, but I only had enough fragments for two, so I had to go to Spin Soa to buy some more and get this completed. There are also two tasks at the Researchers Under Fire event, which happens every half an hour. One is to defeat 50 enemies during the event, and one is to gather five Titan parts when that particular small side quest shows up. These aren't terribly difficult, and I wound up finishing the Titan parts first before I was able to finish the kills, but be quick, since there's only 50 parts that you can actually turn in as the entire group. If there are too many other players around doing it at the same time, it'd be really hard to get your five in before the phase of the event ends and you have to wait till next event. After the Titan parts, I was able to clean up my remaining 20 kills pretty easily. Our final task in the cavern is to sniff Mirit, but you can't just walk up to Mirit and sniff him. You need to go on a sniffin' seeking adventure, and while you're down there, then you can sniff him. So I sniffed him right away and immediately left. Definitely not weird at all. Up next, we're going back to the Forbidden Reach, returning to the Forbidden Reach even, uh, to enter the Zaskara Vault. You need to open 10 different doors in here. Luckily, I have a bunch of keys saved up that are basically useless now, so I was glad to relieve my inventory of 10 of my 40 Zaskara Vault keys. This didn't take too long, and that's another task down. Now, this is the point where I hit a wall in my progress, as I originally only routed 1,000 points into the route, and I realize now that this month has 1,400 points. So, I began by fishing on the broken shore until I retrieved 50 fish, using this downtime to come up with the remainder of my route to kind of finish off the 1,400 points. I didn't have many left to go, but most options were going to take a long time. After my fishing was done, it was back to Valdraken, and then Orgrimmar to finish up. So in Valdraken, I pulled out my Super Shell Khan gang toy, and I cheered for them. There's about to be a lot of cheering, by the way. I skyrocketed up to the Aspects and cheered for them. Kind of strange that I don't need to cheer for Abyssian in this case, but, you know, I did anyway, because he's cool. Now it's time to go to Orgrimmar and cheer for all the Trading Post NPCs. With my barrage of cheering over, I crossed that 1400 point threshold and was able to pick up the Grotto Netherwing Drake. Considering this was a 1400 point month and I had some routing challenges about halfway through, doing this in 51 minutes and 45 seconds, I'm pretty happy with that. 
I know there's only a day or so left before this goes away, so go get the Grotto Netherwing Drake now if you haven't. It's only 51 minutes or 52 minutes long, so go on, get to it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you shortly for the August Trading Post speedrun, which I promise will be coming within the first week of the month, not the last. Take care.